Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, histiocytomas in the doggy, most commonly the puppy. A histiocytoma is a benign or friendly tumor growth on the dog. We usually see it in young dogs, puppies predominantly, but we can see it in dogs consistently that are less than three years of life. The histiocytoma is a round cell tumor that shows up we don't know why it does, but it shows up most commonly on the ears or the face or the extremities of a doggy. These spontaneous histiocytomas should always be checked out. What a veterinarian will do is they will use a needle and they will sample it to confirm the diagnosis on a microscope slide. Now, the cool thing about these is most of them spontaneously resolve on their own, which is pretty cool. However, it can take months, guys, no joke. And the problem is with these, sometimes they're in really problematic areas. If the doggy is walking or rubbing them, they can bleed, they can get infected, and they can be a real mess. So even though they do spontaneous resolve on their own, in most cases over one to three months, if they're causing a problem or they're a nuisance, surgical removal with a biopsy result can be really good idea really good idea, it can be a great idea. Getting them removed if they are infected or causing discomfort for the doggy is common practice too. Now, these histiocytomas are common. I see them a lot just in regular practice, almost on a weekly basis. Again, most of them go away on their own, but if they don't, surgical removal with a little bit of sedative can be very easy and helpful to resolve a problem. Always, always get them diagnosed as a histiocytoma. Things like mast cell tumors can be very serious and problematic if not addressed and surgically removed. Unlike mast cell tumors, histiocytomas can be left and observed if they're not causing any problems because they resolve on their own. As always, I am Dr. Dan. I hope this was super helpful. You guys have a great week and we'll follow up later. Take care.